Welcome back to What Artie Noobs with General Disturbance and that's a Fifi La Piu Piu, the 105 Le FH 18B2 French Tier 5 Premium SPG and we're on the north spawn of Redshire and that particular Fifi is being commanded by Sedata and alongside him I can see a bishop and I think, is there any others? Yes, there's a Storm Panzer II as well on his team and this is a tier 5 battle, I think. Okay, they're off. Sadata testing out his gun. Oh, there's a few people knocking trees down. Okay, he's looking towards the uh, Eastern Pass, the heavy zone. Of course, the great thing about the Fifi is the massive fire rate and the incredible accuracy of that 10.5 centimeter gun. And there's a target straight away. It's a Panzer 3G, a Panzer 3J rather. And it looks like he's setting up just to sort of like be a harasser, stop anybody from going through the pass and to spot for his, um, uh, his team. Now, let's see if we can put a round into him. Three down there. Okay, we know where he was. Let's see if we can dial in another one. Oh, another tree went down. In the north top. Uh, and he kills the Panzer 3J. Now, I saw a tree go down. And yes, Sadata did as well. In the top here, in the corner. Just down there. That's it. A tree went down there. Now, I reckon there's an RT behind there. Not seen anything yet. And he, yes! He actually wasn't an RT, it was a T67. And he got him blind off the fact that he knocked down a tree. Now that's great work. Good observation skills means that an RT player can actually work out where the enemy is. They don't actually have to see them, they just need to see what they're doing. Don't knock the tree down. Knocking trees down is fatal. Round out on that KV-1. Lands next to him. Okay, we've got nobody sighting on the Western Pass at the moment, but there is a Panzer 38 NA up on top of the hill, and he's spotting. He's coming down after that Matilda. That, oh, that looks just put a massive number of rounds into the Matilda, and unfortunately we've lost the Matilda, and it was killed by one of our own team, uh, by the Bishop. By mistake, but uh, Sadata takes out the Panzer 38 NA very nicely. So yes, the uh, Bishop has just got a team kill. He's down minus one now. Now Bishop is very, very accurate, but there's nobody on the east side of the battlefield at all. So that Bishop needs to hightail it out of there as quickly as he possibly can, because the enemy is coming down from the Western Pass. Now Sadata's going into a defensive position. Being careful not to knock any trees down, and he's hoping that his team can cap out. Now they've got three in the cap, four in the cap at the moment, and there's one enemy tank in the cap as well. Now he's aimed at that uh, KV-1 up on that ridge line. Dialed in on him, round out. He got a hit, solid hit. There's the KV-1. He's come out of that bush, but he can put another round into him. He's lining up a shot ahead of its track. Rounds out. Direct hit, and he tracked him. Great shot! That's really going to make a difference. Slowed him down, get the reload in, track him again, get another hit in there. And yes, he did do some damage on spotting, and I think he stunned him as well. Um, round out on the Churchill. Missed him. Just fell short. But the Churchill is now tracked, and we know where he is, and he's been taken out. With two tanks ahead at the moment, but uh, he's actually spotting these, uh, Churchill, because he's got a better view range than the Bishop, who's closer. The view range on a Fifi is 390 metres. It's a very long distance. So he's spotting tanks for his own team. Now that looks as being a very silly bunny, because he's hiding behind that tree, but he's making himself a perfect target for the 10.5 centimetre howitzer. And there's an enemy that's closer, the KB-1, and he's hiding behind that uh, building. Ground out. Unfortunately, it went into the ground. But he needs to get around in as quickly as he can. 
Oh no, that one overshot. Needs to dial it in quickly. I think that uh, KV-1 is tracked. I'm pretty sure he's tracked. His track's up. But he's got very few hit points left. And he is taken out. He's taken out by the Sturm Panzer II who took him out. Because the Sturm Panzer II is a little further around. Now, that Matilda rounds out. That was close. Very close. Is it moving? No, it's stationary. But we've capped out and won. They've captured the base. So, well done, team. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. And it's a second class tanker for Sadata in the 105FH18B2. Uh, he did get some rather nice skills in that battle. Uh, he also picked up a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits, crew incapacitations or module damage. 13 critical hits in total. And the good thing is that uh, he hit two of those enemy while they were still unsighted. That's uh, the uh, Panzer 3J who he took out in those bushes. He knew where it was, but he just sat there and took the shell. And of course the T-67, which was never spotted at all, other than the fact he knocked over a tree, which gave away his position. And of course allowed Sadata to take him down. So that was a great move that was. Uh, so if we look at damage, we can see he came top on damage, 960 hit points. He came top when it came to kills with three, and he came top on base XP of 717. He fired 17 rounds, got five direct hits, five penetration, one splash. Damage of 960 hit points, of which 890 was at more than 300 meters. He hit four of the enemy, killed three of them. He also did damage uh, assistance of 601 hit points. He earned 24,759 credits. And after ammunition resupply, he took away 22,583 credits, which is a decent score for a tier five uh, SPG. He received... 717 base XP, but he also had a bonus for the premium vehicle, because Fifi is premium, of 287 XP. So he took away in total 1,004 experience points. So I think that was a really good example of why you don't drop trees. Uh, and Sadata did it and he, his observation was perfect. He saw a tree fall, he registered it and recorded it in his mind while he was destroying the Panzer 3J and then took out the T-67 very neatly afterwards. So well done indeed. If you enjoyed this replay, please do give it a like and do subscribe to our channel. And hopefully it'll be your replay I'll be featuring in the next video.